Hello ladies and gentlemen, then I will be here. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can apply for name substitution on CAC portal. So let's say, for example, you make a mistake in the name and the name has been approved that you have given a validity code. There's a way you can actually make name substitution or even though if you submitted the name for approval, you submitted the whole registration and you were actually queried that you should change, maybe make a change in the name. This video is going to explain to you how you can actually do that new substitution. It's very easy and very straightforward. So if you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, like this video, share this with your friends and family. If you have any question, you can ask in the comment section. I'll be glad to answer you. So very quickly, let's go into the video. Now to do new substitution, all you have to do is to actually come to this particular button here. You have to log into CC um, portal to so come here to new name reservation. So when you click on the new name reservation here company type you're going to come here and click the company type um, click the comp company type here now we're doing business name you can do for business name you can do for any one of any company computer trustee or any one of the registration you can actually do for them so i'm using business name for this tutorial then the type of business name is so proprietorship so here what is the proposed name the name that you want to change to that is the proposed name name you want to change to in this case here so let's say i want to change to uh, my name Let's say I want to use that name, Adobe Boye Enterprise. Maybe uh, before some some another name, so I want to change to this name, Enterprise. Okay, so I'm going to stay with this one. Then you can also put the second name if you want to. I'm going to come here and click on Save and Continue. So this one I put initially now is the name I want to change to. Hope you grab that. So here you can see here reason for availability charge. So I'm going to click on that and click on name substitution so i want to change it so where an entity undergoing registration is required to change the name so it is when uh it's actually undergoing registration and for you to establish that registration it means that you must have gotten your availability code so you get it the name might have been approved before and given a basic code that's when you can actually do name substitution you cannot change it to another name that you wish to change it to so now you can search you can see this place here you can search by company name or availability code so in this case here i'm going to search by a comp a company name um so it's when, when you click put on the company name in this case the business name i'm doing so when you put when you put it there it's going to come up like this they are going to see a blue button with the name showing like this so i'm just going to tap on it and it's going to fill up this second site for me here so if if you have already have a registration number, registration code number or BN number, business number, it's going to pop up here. It's going to show up here. It's going to show up here if it has already been um, registered before. I just don't want to change the name. So it's going to show up here. So now um, I'm just going to come here. Now for the new for the new business name, I'm changing to what is the business category. So let's say I want to change to, um, I, want, I want it to be under okay let me come to another service i'm going to pure pip i want to check out which can still remain the same so other business activities and the nature here yeah, i'm also changing to other personal services just change it to the nature of business you want it to be and i'm just going to come here and click on save and continue so now i click on save and continue you will give me a quick preview then i'm going to come here and click on save and continue me I, mean I click on save and continue all i have to do is to make a payment of 500 naira you can see it here i make a payment of 500 naira so when i click on the payment i made the payment when i made the payment then it's going to be submitted and moved to pending then when it's been approved it's going to move to approval so if this particular name is undergoing registration and it was query so immediately you do the registration just answer the query just click on you've resolved it and it's going to be on their dashboard on, on the database says the database they will be corrected so any name you change and it's been approved yeah, you are going to receive um then you can actually do the uh, you can actually do the registration if you have not started the registration but you see the you've started the registration and it got queried CS is going to update everything so you will not pay any under extra money for the registration you have started so after i've paid money for the next registration you just have already now for business name have already now for also complain then when the name has been approved and if it is queried i'm talking about if it's queried just after the query it will be updated so guys this is i can actually do next registration so all you have to do now is just to click on remitter and make payment of 661.25 um 65 nera point 25 core but make payment and it's going to be submitted for you so guys if you have any question you can ask in the comment section i'm denadio boye i look forward to seeing the next video bye for now